The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Welcome. We have made videos about so many health topics. All are referenced from US National Medical Library. So you can trust these videos. To find a video of your concerned topic, just type the topic name and write Dr. Education on YouTube search bar and you will find the video, right? So today we are going to talk about oral thrush. Oral thrush, the whitish colored uh, tongue which you see many times you see thrush oral thrush is basically a yeast infection of the tongue and the lining of the mouth now you need to know why it is caused how it looks right and what are the symptoms what are the tests to be done and the treatment as well so don't go anywhere let's start <laughs> Uh, oral thrush or certain germs basically uh, you need to understand that certain germs normally live in the body inside a body including some bacteria some fungi right and while most of these germs are harmless some of them can cause infections under certain conditions oral thrush occurs in both children and adults and this occurs when conditions permit that there is too much growth of this normally occurring fungi called candida in the mouth candida uh, in the mouth and a small amount of this fungus normally lives in your mouth yes it is most often kept in check by your immune system and other germs that are also already living in your mouth so when your immune system is weak or when normal bacteria die in the mouth or if too much of the fungi is there so uh, in that case too, too much too much of these fungi can grow so you are most likely to get thrush when you are in poor health when you are getting very old when or young babies are also more likely to develop thrush if you have any kind of uh, immunocompromised infection like hiv aids if you are receiving a chemotherapy or drugs which weaken the immune system if you are taking steroid medication sometimes inhaling steroids like for uh, asthma or copd respiratory diseases also you can lead it can lead to uh, candida or oral thrush you can have if you have diabetes also your and your blood sugar is very high then when your blood sugar is very high then some of these extra sugar is found in your saliva and that can act as food for candida it grows very fast then if you are taking antibiotics antibiotics kill some of the healthy bacteria and keep and these healthy bacteria are those bacteria which actually uh, prevent the candidas from growing too much so what happens the candidas can grow there and even if your dentures do not fit well you have a high chances of candy of this thrush candidas can also cause yeast infection in other areas like the vagina right and thrush in newborn is somewhat common and easy to treat very easy but you need to know the symptoms if you have thrush you will have a white velvety sores in the mouth and on the tongue and some bleeding uh, can happen when you brush your teeth or scrap the score sores pain can happen while swallowing not always but pain can happen while uh, when you go to a doctor your or a dentist the, the you can they can easily diagnose the thrush by just looking at your tongue and because the sores are very easy to recognize now to confirm the thrush your doctor can take a small sample of the mouth sore by gently gently scrapping it and uh, this mouth can be examined by using a microscope this this mouth scrapping right can be in severe cases thrush can actually grow deep inside your food pipe as well in the esophagus the esophagus is the tube that connects your mouth to the stomach and this when this occurs then your doctor will take a throat culture to see what germs are causing your thrush 
and the examine uh, or examination of your esophagus and stomach can also be done with a flexible light uh, scope endoscope with a camera on the end right that's an endoscope ultimately how to get rid of this how to treat it if you are getting a mild thrush after taking antibiotics then you can just eat yogurt or take over the over the counter uh, acidophilus back acidophilus pills the probiotics right this can help restore the healthy balance of germs in your mouth uh, for a more severe case of thrush your doctor can give you antifungal mouthwash like nystatin nystatin it will have antifungal and lozenges of clotrimazole then antifungal medicines can also be taken as a pill or syrup and these might be having fluconazole or itraconazole depending upon your doctor's choice now these are prescription medicines only by only can be taken after advice from a dermatologist or sorry or of a doctor so oral thrush can be cured very easily however your if your immune system is weak the thrush can come back and cause more serious problems again and again the the possible complications if your immune system is very weak the candida can spread throughout the body and cause a serious infections sometimes can can go in the brain causing meningitis in the esophagus esophagitis in the eyes endophthalmitis eyes heart joint arthritis and even heart endocarditis can be there so if you are having a thrush or thrush like whitish patches on your on your tongue then go to a doctor go to a doctor and if you have pain or especially if you have difficulty in swallowing then you should go to a doctor and if you are taking any chemotherapy or any kind of th- medicine or any disease which are which have uh, immu- decreased immunity then you should discuss this possibility of thrush with your doctor and to prevent it if you getting thrush very often then your doctor can recommend an antifungal medicine on a regular basis to keep the thrush from coming back if you have diabetes you can help prevent the thrush by keeping a good control on your blood sugar levels now this is very important right so for that you can watch my diabetes videos and finding them is easy just write diabetes or blood sugar by doctor education and you'll find the videos candida uh, this oral thrush is also called candidiasis right it's a candida infection mouth candida oral candida so this is the information which you need and don't forget to share this information and let me know your views in the comments below like give me a big like and i'll see you next time stay connected and stay healthy